All right, what's going on guys? So this is my little March 2021 update. I haven't been posting as much as I'd like just because there's really not a whole lot going on. Everything's still growing slow, but steady. Um, firstly, if you notice all over the glass, we have a lot more Coraline algae. That's been taking off really well. It's on the side glass. It's all over the back glass. I actually really like the look of it, so I don't scrape it off. Um, I think it's a sign of, you know, a more mature tank, and I, I just really enjoy the look. I had always struggled to get Coraline to grow a couple years back, so I just tend to leave it on the glass. Um, this little coral on the front, I, I'm not sure the name. If you guys know the name, please let me know. I, I cannot remember for the life of me the name of this coral. It's kind of like a Xenia, but it's not exactly a Xenia. It's growing really well. You can see it's extended all the way out into the sand bed. Uh, that's probably my fastest growing coral right now. My Xenia continues to just thrive. Uh, hasn't really grown though. It's kind of staying put, which is great. Um, it doesn't really need to take over any more than it already has. And then I have my Xenia up top there that's grown a couple more heads. Frog spine continues to do great. He's splitting, I think, within the next month or two, we'll see a third head on him. I'm starting to see him develop that third head. My hammer is over here. Uh, I moved him over here just to try to get when he gets a little bigger to kind of have two distinct corals in each side of the tank. And then I have my polyps over here as well. My mushroom seems to be doing really, really well. He's definitely gotten a little bigger and fluffier. Love the look of that guy. And then if we go up here to my zoas and stuff, you can see the growth on these guys. Red zoas have really started to take off. These red zoas on the left have gained about five or six new heads and they're actually growing onto the frag rack itself which I didn't really mind. I thought about just turning this into a, like a floating Zoa, um, Zoa garden, which would be pretty cool. And then everything else is growing pretty slow. The red Zoas in the back, they're growing a few new heads, but the green and the yellow tend to stay the same and that Fabia doesn't really grow either, just kind of maintains. But the red Zoas are all doing really well for some reason. And then the Duncan Coral, he's doing all right. He's always kind of stressed out because the clownfish always try to swim in them and he does not want to host them. So they're bothering him. And that's kind of what happened with my torch coral and they ended up killing it. So I'm hoping they don't kill my Duncan. But I've kind of always struggled with that Duncan. My goal is uh, I don't really want any more LPS corals or, and I would definitely never do SPS. So probably just some soft corals if these corals end up passing away. That GSP in the back, for some reason, GSP in my tank, this is my second frag of it, and it's never done well for me. I can't get it to grow, uh, nothing. It just does not do well in here, which is really weird because typically if you have Xenia that would grow like this, you would think GSP would do the same thing, but not the case in this tank. I'm not sure. I've tested the tank. I mean, I, I'm not sure what's bothering it. And then we have my Kenya tree doing absolutely terrible. Like I said, not sure why I've tested the tank. Everything seems to be really good level wise. Uh, nitrates are starting to, to kind of look like they're starting to zero out, which is I'm really keeping an eye on it because we can see the brown. I'm hoping this isn't the start of dinos. I had a huge dino problem in this tank about six months ago because of the lack of nitrates. And uh, I think I always have a little bit of phosphates in here, but nitrates were really zeroing out. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. The... Uh, so there would be two options to go here. I'm going to see, like, follow these nitrate levels over the course of the next several weeks before I would make a decision on doing anything to this tank. I could obviously feed heavier, or I could add another fish, which everybody loves fish. I would probably tend to add another fish. This tank is coming up on a year old, I believe, this month. Um, so we'll probably have a year update here soon. I think March... I set it up in March of last year. So the tank is coming up on a year and it's really progressed really well. So in terms of fish wise, I'm not sure what I would do. It would obviously have to be something small, but this Royal Grama right here is really aggressive towards new fish. He bullied the Bengai around for a very long time. I'm really not sure. I was thinking of a damsel, damsels, you know, are very aggressive. Obviously it'd be the last fish I would try to add. So do I go the damsel route? and get a really pretty damsel that could be aggressive. I don't know. Um, I was thinking lawnmower blenny. Um, that would be, you know, another cool option, but I I'm, I'm, don't know if that fish would be too big. I already have, this is, you know, only a 40 gallon tank. We're just running a hang on the back filter and we already have five fish in here. 
the filtration in this tank though keeps those nitrates and everything down um really well which i'm really surprised i have no skimmer on this tank it also you know the fact that it is a year old it's starting to mature out a little bit but all i run is uh foss guard and then i run some purigen back there and then i just run regular filter floss over the top of that and it's done so so well and uh, i don't really plan on having a skimmer on this tank i've had a couple they broke on me the one broke on me and then the second one i broke on accident when i was cleaning it um but this tank doesn't need one it's a very simple tank i'm really enjoying it i know a lot of people don't like the look of just xenia everywhere which is pretty much what this tank is pretty much xenia it's got a couple lps that are really small and it's got some zoas but I really, really enjoy this tank. It's peaceful, it's in my room. So I just chill while I'm doing college homework and I can see the tank and it's just really relaxing. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you for watching the video. I love the support recently. We've gained like 15 subscribers in the last like month, which is really, really cool to see that people are enjoying the tank and enjoying the videos. So peace out guys.